Hello and welcome to the education series for a movement for a female-led society. I am T. Erica Patterson, the founder of our female-led society and the author of a manifesto for our female-led society. You should check this book out. It is the blueprint for the next era in our society's existence, the next level. And we're on our way to developing world peace through the establishment of a female-led society. And as we do this, we want to lay the foundation for education so that everyone will know what we're standing for, so that you can stand with us as we move towards this transition. So a female-led society is a society where the leadership of women is embraced and preferred. We base our leadership on the 15 principles of feminine, the 15 principles of fe feminine leadership. What's the name of this thing? Oh my gosh. While I'm sitting here, the 15 principles of feminine power. Excuse me, I just had to look at the manifesto once again. So the 15 principles of feminine power are 15 ideals, wisdom that the best leaders would follow in order to make the best decisions. So if you're willing to follow these 15 principles, hide them in your heart, make decisions based on, on what I have written there, then you can become a leader in our female-led society because our female-led society is not based on feminine genitals, it's based on feminine principles. We, because we know that all women are not capable of being leaders and all women do not want to be leaders. Most people do not want to be leaders. And most people want love for someone else to just take charge and tell them what to do and tell them how to be. That's why it's so important when women do stand up and when women, women are capable of standing up that they're allowed to, which is why our female-led society is so important because in the past, Women who were capable, who had bright ideas, who wanted to take the lead, who wanted to raise their hand, who wanted to raise their voice, they were not allowed to. They were told to sit down and be quiet. They were told that their voices doesn't matter. And in our new female-led society, all voices matter, especially the voices of women and other marginalized groups. So our female-led society does not just stand for women. Female-led is a representation of all of the marginalized groups marginalized groups who have been held back by the masculine model of leadership and a patriarchal society that told them they need to sit down and that their opinions didn't matter. Native Americans, transgender, other genders, other social groups, other skin colors that were not allowed to raise their voice and stand up are now able to be represented in a female-led society and I'm very excited about this. So what about men in a female-led society? I know you're wondering, what is it that men are going to do in a female-led society? Are we punishing the men for all of these years of patriarchy and holding us back and hurting us? Absolutely not. This is not a society that punishes anyone because if you join the society, when you do join the society, you're pledging to move forward from the past and we're not going to seek restitution from Anything that happened in the past, we're just moving forward. That's all we're doing. So let's talk about what men can do in, a, in our new female-led society. We refer to men in our female-led society as gentlemen in celebration of their kindness and reverence toward women. So we call all men in our society gentlemen. A gentleman is always gentle with women and women feel safe with them. So we call them gentlemen to remind them and to remind us that they should always be gentle. Aggression is not allowed. Violence is not allowed for men. Being pushy and insistent and all those other traits that uh, make people feel fearful around men is not allowed. Men in our society are gentle men. They're gentle with men, gentle with women, and gentle with everyone. Gentlemen are safe protected and valued members of our female-led society where women take leadership roles rooted in love. Yes, women who elect to become leaders will have the chance to do so 
in their personal relationships, in their work relationships, and in our society through government roles. However, the leadership is rooted in love for everyone. How do you lead with love? You recognize that the people that you are leading are depending on you for their happiness and satisfaction. So no matter how you may feel emotionally about what's happening or what you may want for yourself and your glory and your satisfaction, you are not making decisions for yourself. You're making decisions for their satisfaction. We're leading in love. In our female-led society, the strength and importance of a man is measured by his ability to empower the women in his life. Yes, we now in our old world society, we we measure the man's strength by his ability to conquer, dominate, control, to gain wealth, which which which, which offers the byproduct of power. But in our female-led society, the stronger a man is, the you measure that by how amazing the women in his life are. Is his mother supported? Is his sister supported? Is his wife supported? Do ev- does everyone feel safe? Are they achieving all of their dreams? Are they happy? Are they smiling? Do they feel fulfilled in life? Any woman who's walking around like that, the men in their life are to be commended because of their influence into their lives. That is how you can gauge what a strong man is, by his ability to empower the women in his life. Gentlemen in our female-led society enjoy various interesting careers, take trips, meet friends, create families, and have adventures that make them feel good about life. This is a real world. This is not slavery for men at all. We love men. We appreciate men, especially the ones who voluntarily join our female-led society and want to support women and want to be able to be their true selves without conforming to gender roles. We love them. So they're joining a society that's going to allow them to be who they really are without constraint. Do you want to love other men? Go right ahead. Do you want to exhibit feminine characteristics? Go right ahead. Do you want to take on careers that aren't traditionally suited for men? Go right ahead. This is your chance to shine and be who you really are. Do you want to be a homemaker? That's fine. You're not mandated to do that, but it's a now a viable choice that won't make you feel as though you're tra- you're being a traitor to your gender or that something is wrong with you because you want to be nurturing to a woman or you want to be nurtured by a woman or you want to step aside and allow the woman to lead. You can do all of that in our female-led society and you won't be laughed at. You'll be praised for being who you are. Under feminine leadership, gentlemen breathe easily, certain that they are well cared for and loved. This society will breathe the relationship with mothers that you've always wanted. The relationship with women that you've always wanted. The relationship with your daughters, with your peers, with your friends that you've always wanted. The ability to be yourself without judgment based on gender role expectations. Gentlemen may hold government positions including Vodic, the judge, Maven, the career consultants, attendant, devoted to women, light workers, healing traumas and emotional and psychological issues, and aristocrat, noted royalty who have pioneered social innovation. So all of these honored government positions may be held by men as well. Our female-led society, remember, is not led by feminine generals. It's led by feminine principles. And if you can adopt the 15 principles of feminine power, you too can become a leader regardless of your gender. So men have just as much right to become leaders in our government positions as women and will not be held back and will not be considered less than if they want to hold these positions. We honor desire to become leaders. We respect it and we appreciate it because we understand that most people would love to be followers. So the people who rise and become leaders and are effectively leading, we appreciate Men's privilege. Men who have unwittingly and undeservingly benefited from patriarchy and male privilege since their birth are now charged to give their privilege back to women and other marginalized members of our society. Men are offered the privilege of ensuring that women benefit from their presence. The man's role in our female-led society is to use his skills, energy, and personal power 
to be of service to the goals of women. Yes, that is a specified goal. How can I help the women in my life to become the best that they can be and achieve their goals? Men show their devotion to women by following these three directives. Please her, protect her, and promote her. This does not mean that men are subservient to women. Men are definitely, definitely not inferior to women, but men recognize that they have a certain power that aligns with their skills, their resourcefulness, and their desire to be an asset to women's lives. And they should use that power to please, protect, and promote. If you're an amazing man and you're smart and you know it, why not use that ability to help the women in your life become amazing and sustain their greatness? It is now the privilege of all men in our female-led society to offer others the same advantages that men have held and to hold the, the others in the same esteem that men were presented with. If you have benefited from men's privilege at all, you must recognize it, accept it, and now offer it to others. Women, other marginalized groups, other cultures, other races, you offer this privilege to them in any way that you can. This is your duty to give back. A manifesto for a female-led society on sale right now on Amazon. I am T. Erica Patterson. We welcome all men. We appreciate you. We can't wait to partner with you. We can't wait to rise up in leadership with you and to establish our female-led society right there with you, standing next to you, holding hands with you, celebrating you, allowing you to support women for the rest of our days. Thank you so much for taking the time to be educated on this movement for a female-led society. I am T. Erica Patterson, the author of A Manifesto for a Female-Led Society and the founder of our new female-led society. Please visit femaleledsociety.org to join the movement. I'll talk to you guys soon.